It's funny you say because like, you know, it, it, it evolves as you go. I mean, just for example, the, the, the one more try. The five O down the rail, one more try. Mm. Icon- iconic, right? You didn't, you couldn't have planned that. You probably yeah. saw it in the timeline and went like, "Oh, dude, that that fits perfectly." Like I gotta. Well, just... I didn't even know. I didn't even know Lee was filming. That. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, right. But in I the was time... just telling. I was just telling the bros that were there is like that felt <laughs> more to... not more to... as good as I imagined it to feel. I imagined it feeling better than that. Yeah. So I got to give it one more. Right. And then. And then I um I did a few more than that. Oh wow! But I found one that looked like, you know, I don't know, whatever. That if I really knew what I was doing, that's what it would look like. Well, so the I one that, that you, one. the one that you originally did, the one more try. I mean, for the av- for the average viewer, I'm like that was perfect. <laughs> yeah. You know, that works. But then I went back and looked at it and looked at it and I could see like you know the board kind of went down a little bit, kind of come came off yeah, your feet it came a little off bit, my feet a little, yeah. you know. And then I was like, oh okay, I I can see why you know feelings everything yeah. in skating, right? You got you have to have it feel good for yourself, you know? Yeah. But then when you lay it in the timeline, you see that it works with the song and you're like, do one more try, boom. And then you do the perfect one. And oh my God, like yeah. couldn't have planned that. You know what I no, mean? You, like you couldn't have planned it. And, and it turns out to be iconic. Well, t- to be honest, I was trying to fill time to that, that the end song by the doors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? I yes. I was like, this song's so epic. I really only have this many tricks at the end that feel good. <laughs> And then the idea came up to, to do the one more and to have the 5 twice. Cause you know, I was a real critic of showing multiple angles, even though we did it a lot. I always felt like, I always felt guilty about it. I was always like, man, you can't do that too much. You play that out, you overplay that. And mm. I'd watch other videos and be all snobby about it. <laughs> right, right, someone right, showed, right. If someone showed three or four angles, I'd be like, oh man, they're really milking that trick. Yeah. <laughs> right. Some tricks deserve it though. Some I tricks know, deserve yeah, it. For right? sure, dude. yeah. I, mean, I know that's what you're saying just though. Me, that's just me being competitive and trying to like, you know, I don't know, whatever. No, I'm, we I'm all have forward. our own. We yeah. all have our own. You know, even if something is too too much slow motion, you know, it's too much. Slow, you yeah. know, we all have our mm-hmm. own things. You know, but um, totally. Wow, I don't know. I just love that. Like I said, the one more. Tr- it's just iconic, and it's so funny to hear that you were just trying to fill time. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's okay. Well, that's more it, dramatic. It's like, incredible. let's go. Yeah, it's, let's. It's, it's let's so show. good. It was also like these two five O's are cool, but they're cool for different reasons. And how do we use them both? And then that one more try makes it sen- makes sense. Like you're, yeah. you're, you're telling a story, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah. And then we did one in chomp. We did it like a, like a kick foot foot plan on the table. We like spoofed yeah. it. Yeah. By the way, iconic part as well. Like I, chomp, yeah. I always hear part two coming. Chomp. Uh, uh. Jamie, <laughs> what's good, huh? We heard yeah. that. We got a bunch of I've been here, here yeah. for quite some time. No, but it's just rad because you've been involved with just iconic parts, you know, iconic videos. It's, I mean, history, you know, it's, it's incredible, man. Definitely. Well, thank you. Yeah. I mean, you dedicate your life to something and, you know, it's possible to do a bunch of whatever you dedicate yourself to your <laughs> life to. Sure, you know? yeah. sure. And I am. Um, I dedicated my life to video parts for, you know, a solid, I don't know, 20 years. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, you yeah, could dedicate geez. yourself the whole time, but it never can turn out the way that you want it, you know, for but sure. like I said, uh, just, you know, yeah, I think that comes like, down to, that comes down to drive and vision right. and obviously having some talent to like execute. Yeah. But, but if you got the drive and you got the thirst to, to do it, you know, um, you see people, they, they come, they overcome crazy circumstances. Yeah, and, totally. and that's a big part of it. Yeah. And it's really interesting that a lot of that drive comes from, you know, having something deep inside you. That's like, you got something to prove, Yeah, you know, and, and sometimes people burn through that quick and sometimes people have an everlasting, just yeah. something to prove. It turns, it turns more into something to prove to myself than something to prove to everybody else, yeah. you know, eventually. Sure. You see athletes yeah. of all kinds, they start off with like, you know, without a dad, or mm-hmm. I think we might've talked about this on mm-hmm. the, the last time, but they start off without a dad or a dad that's not giving them enough attention or not fitting in or coming from a small town and they felt like the underdog. Mm-hmm. And they're just like playing into that, their own Rocky story. Yeah. Yes. You know? 
Right. Yeah. Definitely. And I think that I played into that at like seven years old and you I were... tried to keep that repeating. Yeah. I'm like into Rocky 15 now in my life. <laughs> <laughs> There's many a skater just like you though, Jamie, Rick, in that sense of like, obviously they, some of them might, might not be as successful as you, but they have that drive and you know, wherever it takes them, it takes them, but mm. you know, they thrive off it. But yeah, dude. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah, thing. Yeah. I, I, I talked to Chris Jocelyn about it once and that Beast. kid has a drive. Like, he's oh, got a yeah. fire. My he's goodness, got a fire man. inside. And Truly, you could see I, it. Yeah, I love to see people with that fire. You know, yeah. and now that I'm, I'm a lot, I'm a lot more on the sidelines, and I'm like, I'm like riding into the sunset right now, and um, I, I love to see young, young dudes coming up with like, just. You know that emoji with the like blowing the like the, the, oh, yeah, the nose? yeah 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 I love a mat like that's what like <laughs> like Nija Nija that cab flip back lift oh, or whatever Oh my like, god bro Yeah it just <sighs> You know, I don't know. I just get so hyped on seeing like when he flexes when he rolls away. Yeah, yeah man, like, he's excited after. Like that he's shit. the best Fuck. skate. Like, come on, he's he's, he's the most he's, talented skateboard. But he's, he's you can still see that hypeness. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I mean, um, anybody that just is like pushing it like that, like they're just giving it every everything. ounce of everything they got, and yeah. they got a lot to give. Yeah. yeah. And when they got a lot to give, and you get to see it all, like just as a fan of skating, I get so hyped on that.